Hi traders, this is Gomanti Shankar. I am happy to meet you all in a new video. So thank you all my 96.7k subscribers. I thank each and every one of you right from the bottom of my heart. Together we grow as a price action trading community. So if you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification and don't forget to share these videos to all your trading friends. In Nifty, we were expecting the market to be bullish above this particular swing high and below this swing low, we were expecting bearishness. We were analyzing the market on 28th January and this is 31st Jan. The market was consolidating at our resistance level and this is the mega event day budget and then the market was trading above this swing high and still nifty is above this swing high now what are the trade opportunities we got in nifty on 31st jan nifty was in a dead sideways range or one previous day high was broken and immediately our stop loss was hit even we took a trade in uh, nifty on 31st jan and our stop loss was hit after that what happened we were staying away from the market and we, do not, we did not take any further trades expecting a volatility in the afternoon session because on 1st February that is there is a budget season and we don't want to take any position in the afternoon and we were completely staying away from the market. So 31st Jan though R1 and previous day high was broken. Uh, there is no enough momentum for the bulls to take the prices higher and if you remember the premiums were very very high and the VIX was also uh, up by more than 10% uh, I guess. Now this is the event day on 1st February we are having a ascending CPR and we are having a narrow CPR. So that tells the market is going to be trending or the market is going to be volatile. Remember whenever there is an arrow CPR it doesn't mean trending market alone it means the market can be volatile as well. On 31st Jan the interesting observation is the candles were staying above the daily CPR and R1 and same on February 1st also the candles were staying above daily CPR and R1 previous day high. Now what happened in the morning the bulls were showing some strength in the morning and the market was staying above the day high. So this was the day high in the morning and the candles were comfortably trading above this swing high of that particular day. There was a sudden spike followed by a rejection and then the candle started to go up. So we were expecting the bulls. We were trusting the bulls. We did not take any position in the morning. We were cautiously waiting for the budget to get over. So we were expecting the market to show the direction. We were actually waiting to take position. And what happened clearly the entire day range was taken up by one single bear candle. Now here taking a short position is very risky because the candles are comfortably above daily CPR and R1 and previous day high. So taking short should be avoided. But we took short position, I took a short position, this is a risky trade and we had a few other reasons as well because we not only follow CPR, we follow other price action uh, patterns as well. We use moving average, we use other price action patterns and psychologies. So we took a risky short position here with less quantities and we made a good money on, the, on this particular day. So if you observe that on observe my trade on 1st uh, January, I took two trades on budget day. My first trade was around 11.30, 11.33 within a three minute, within three minutes, I captured uh, 40 points. And if you look at my next trade, this was taken at uh, 1.5. This was a seven minutes trade and I easily captured 60 points. So this trade was taken based on this bear candle only. The entire range of that particular day was broken by a bear candle. So what I was expecting is the market may take a support at daily CPR. CPR also attracts the candle. These are risky trades not advisable for beginners 
and immediately we captured a uh, 60 to 70 points and we exited so this is our trade on february 1st after that the market recovered that is a sign of bulls now on february 1 and january 31st the premiums were so so high and the premiums were uh, not decreasing the premiums were increasing tremendously but on February 2nd and 3rd, the premiums were not increasing, but the premiums were decreasing. On February 2nd, we did not even take any trade because the market was having a very, very wide CPR. Look at the distance between R1 and previous day high. Now, if you observe R1 and previous day on budget day, the both the levels are sticking with each other. This is R1 and this is previous day high. Both the levels are sticking with each other. But if you observe on the next day, look at the distance between R1 and previous day high. So this is a good identification of a range bound market. Look at the wide CPR we are witnessing on 2nd February. So we were expecting the market to be range bound. We don't want to take any positions because we knew very well uh, the budget is over. There will be a volatility crush and the premiums will decrease drastically. Even I was uh, watching the market in Nifty, the premiums when Nifty broke day high, the premiums were not even, the option prices were not even crossing 15 to 20 points. But when the candles were coming down here as well as here, the premiums were decreasing more than 30 to 40 points. So such a strange day, it is a day for option sellers. So we avoided taking any position on this particular day. You can clearly see on 2nd and 3rd, we did not take any trades on 2nd and 3rd. After that, we took a trade today only. So even yesterday, we did not take any trade in Nifty. Though Nifty was breaking R1 and previous day high, yesterday, we did not take any trades because since 2nd February was having a huge premium decay, we were expecting a similar kind of premium decay on 3rd February as well. So we don't want to take a chance. So we avoided taking positions in Nifty as well as in Bank Nifty. And if you look at uh, Bank Nifty on the same day, Bank Nifty was dead dead sideways, right? Now today we took position in Bank Nifty, but we do not take any position in Nifty because Nifty was stuck between S1 previous day low and between the CPR. So this is a sign of bearishness because the candles were comfortably trading below the daily CPR, but the bears are not uh, having the momentum to take the prices down, but still the market is having some mild bearishness in nifty now what can we expect nifty in coming days what is the trend in nifty now if we observe daily chart of nifty we can clearly see there is a bigger swing high and swing low so this is a high this is the high and this is the resistance in nifty and this is a lower high so as per dow theory we call this as a high and we call this as a lower high now this has become a fresh swing high, lower swing high or fresh swing high. Here there was a strong support in Nifty and from that support only Nifty was uh, traveling towards the resistance, right? So this is a strong support. This is called as a low and there is a higher low. We can clearly see this is called as higher low or you can even call it as swing low. So now Nifty is stuck between this swing high and swing low. If Nifty breaks the resistance, swing high then we can go for long position if nifty comes down then we can short till the swing low what we have to do is in five minutes chart if the candles are if the candles are staying below the daily cpr below daily cpr then you can take all rising opportunities for shorting the market if the candles are going up below daily cpr try to short the market if there is a clear reversal and you can keep shorting nifty until it reaches this support level somewhere around 16900 so until nifty reaches 16900 or the swing low you can uh, look for short scalping opportunities if nifty is staying above daily cpr and if candles are uh, breaking this resistance then we can go for long position so this is the trend in nifty now let us quickly see bank nifty how bank nifty reacted to a budget levels so this was a swing high in bank nifty and this was a swing low in 
bank nifty so we were expecting to take long above the swing high and we were expecting to take short below the swing low and what has happened bank nifty also broke a swing high and bank nifty was comfortably trading above previous week high also now let us look at the trade opportunities in 5 minutes chart with the daily cpr on 31st jan bank nifty was clearly stuck inside the daily cpr so you all know very well cpr is home for the candles so we will not take any trades if the candles are inside a daily cpr and on 1st february the event day we were looking both nifty as well as bank nifty but as per our other price action psychologies and patterns nifty was looking comfortable and that's the reason we took a trade in nifty if you look at our trades on uh, 1st february at this is 1st february we took a trade in nifty at uh, 15 and this is another trade in nifty again at 1133 so we took two trades on 1st february and both the trades were in nifty only we did not take any trade in bank nifty not because of uh, volatility or not because of other reasons the the reasons are we are having other patterns and we are ad- having other confirmations to take a high probable trade so we took a trade in uh, nifty but even bank nifty what happened it repeated the same thing which happened in Nif- nifty the entire range was broken by this bear candle but in this first bear candle itself almost the candles reached the daily cpr and we took a trade in nifty because in nifty there was some juice left to capture the uh, space between the candle and the cpr so nifty was breaking the range over here bank nifty reached the daily cpr but nifty did not reach the daily cpr so we took an opportunity to capture this space between the candle and the daily cpr but if you look at bank nifty already the candles reached the daily cpr so that is the difference bank nifty also the premiums were very very high in uh, on 31st jan and february the premiums were even above 700 800 on 2nd february and 3rd february oh my god there was a huge premium decay I, most of the option sellers they love this particular week because a lot of premium decays were there on 2nd and 3rd february we did not even even on 2nd february the candles were breaking day high the candles were breaking r1 and previous day high but we did not even take any trade because of this premium decay factor and the option premiums were not at all rising even 500 strike prices deep in the money they were not rising but they are decreasing only they are hardly raising uh, any points and on 3rd february also the market was inside cpr so no trade so today uh, bank nifty was trading above the daily cpr so what we have what we were thinking is okay the bulls are having the energy this is what we were thinking but later stages what happened couple of times bank nifty started to take resistance at daily cpr the market is alerting us i am not having the bulls are alerting us the bulls are telling us see i am not having energy so i am hanging on to the bottom cpr so this couple of resistances made us to trust the bears and what we were waiting is we were waiting for day low to be broken few of our students and few of our followers and subscribers they take a trade at a s1 previous day low breakout but since the candle came down from top cpr to bottom cpr and since the candles were taking resistance for a couple of times at bottom cpr and so this is the first reason the first reason is the candles were above the daily cpr and later on it started to come down below the daily cpr now the third point is couple of times the candles were taking resistance at bottom cpr now the fourth point is the candles are breaking the day low day low in the sense today's low so we took a short position there and we easily captured some points in bank nifty today so this is 4th february so my first trade was at 1135 and easily i have scalped uh, 50 points now if you look at 1135 so this is the candle which was breaking day low so i was aiming for only 50 points the reason is what if the candles reverses from s1 and previous day low 
and if the candle comes to the daily cpr so i i don't want to sit in the trade for a very long time so i exited with just 50 points now after that i took a second trade so this is the second trade at 1155 at 1155 what happened uh, i easily <coughs> captured uh, somewhere around 60 points so at 1155 the trade is here so what happened exactly in these couple of candles i can clearly see the weakness in the bears so what i did is i took a short position here and my stop loss is very very small above s1 and previous day low remember whenever s1 and previous day low is broken your stop loss is above s1 and previous day low your stop loss is very small and what you are going to do is your first target is s1 and s2 50 percentage so exactly at that 50 percentage i captured 60 points so this is 11 20 candle so exactly at 11 10 12 11 11 i exited with 60 points profit okay now i took a third trade in uh, bank nifty so here is my third trade uh, i entered at uh, somewhere around 1 o'clock and i exited 112 uh, 80 points i have captured here so if you look at 1 o'clock candle so this so here in this candle in this rejection candle i was entering in this rejection candle i was entering and i was expecting the market to come down towards s2 when the market started to reject here i exited with 80 points profit in uh, in this particular options so in the first trade i captured 50 second trade i captured 60 and third trade i captured 80 points so this is the trade we took in bank nifty today so whether uh, market respected our levels which we expected for budget day on budget day what we said in uh, bank nifty is above this we can go for long and below this we can go for a short now did bank nifty uh, respected our levels bank nifty was staying above our level on budget day and only here there was a small fall in both nifty as well as bank nifty and even now both nifty and bank nifty are staying above our level only but if the candles are trading below daily cpr obviously we have to look for short opportunities okay don't take a short position remember many experts will tell this i am also telling that don't take any put option or don't short the market when the market is trading around r1 and previous day high or above cpr similarly don't take any long position if the candles are uh, trading around uh, s1 and previous day low and if the candles are below daily cpr you can trade against these rules if you are experienced okay and if you are if you are having a proper knowledge about technical analysis technical analysis or price action trading etc so bank nifty is trading above our swing high levels but if the candles are coming below the daily cpr then we will take it as an opportunity to take to take short if the candles are coming below s1 and previous day low then obviously we will take it as an opportunity to take short position same way for nifty as well even nifty was trading below daily cpr so we have to look for short opportunities yesterday nifty was trading below daily cpr s1 previous day low was broken and the target was s2 and today s1 previous day low was not broken and don't take long position as well since it is going to be risky now many students and many followers will ask sir you taught me direct trick and you taught me reversal trick so in reversal trick you told us to take long position but now you are telling don't take long position below daily cpr why are you changing your uh, words why are you changing your strategy are you cheating us my answer will be no see the direct trick and reversal trick which you learnt here is a basic concept of cpr which every trader should know if you are using cpr indicator so if you are a cpr indicator newcomer then you should learn the basic strategies what is virgin cpr what is narrow cpr what is reversal trick what is direct trick everything you should learn after that when you start applying in live market you should have the knowledge to differentiate 
which gives you a high probable trade now everybody knows uh, rsi above 80 you should above 70 or 80 you should stop buying and if rsi is below 30 or 20 you should stop selling everybody knows this but still you can take long position if rsi is above 70 or 80 it depends on the stock and instrument and still you can short if rsi is below 30 or 20 it depends on the instrument so ultimately there is a concept there is a basic concept and when you apply it practically in live market you should have the basic knowledge to differentiate which gives a high probable trade and which doesn't gives a high probable trade so that's why i am telling many people are asking queries related to virgin cpr reversal trick and much more only when you back test in historical charts and when you take at least 50 trades or 100 trades you can feel the difference what can we expect in nifty and bank nifty for coming days so nifty we saw nifty is stuck between a swing high and swing low this is the major swing high and swing low in nifty as per daily chart so if nifty is coming down to take support at this level and even this uh, trend line was broken in nifty like this something something like this and this was looking like a channel as well so nifty has broken this channel and nifty is looking weak if nifty wants to come down and reach this support then i want 5 minutes candle below daily cpr clear i want 5 minutes candle below daily cpr and i am going to look for s1 previous day low breakouts now same thing for bank nifty what can we expect for upcoming week even in bank nifty let me look at the daily chart first so bank nifty has broken a beautiful resistance so this was a tough resistance for bank nifty earlier couple of times bank nifty took rejection and then there was a minor retracement in bank nifty now for bank nifty this is a swing low this is a higher swing low this is a sw swing high and this is a higher swing high bank nifty is now trading around the swing high higher swing high if bank nifty comes down below this higher swing line then we can expect bank nifty to come down similar to nifty so what i am going to do is i am going to draw a line at this swing low as well now let me come to hourly chart in hourly chart you can clearly see bank nifty has broken this swing high here bank nifty was taking resistance and now bank nifty came down and again it is taking resistance so there are chances for bank nifty to come down even if bank nifty is not coming towards this support at least 50 percentage it has to come down so what i will do same as nifty i want 5 minutes scandal below the daily cpr and i want s1 previous day low breakouts and i will look for short opportunities in bank nifty if bank nifty is coming above and if bank nifty breaks this level then i will look for long position i will i want 5 minutes candle above r1 and previous day, above uh, daily cpr above daily cpr and i want r1 previous day high breakouts that's it so this is our trade plan for upcoming week in bank nifty as well as nifty i hope you all understood and you all find it useful if you like this video uh, you can share it to your friends if you have any queries without any hesitation post it in the comment section thank you guys bye